few big things to get into before this episode does start. Number one, welcome back to another Milan career mode. This is episode number eight, already in January, having such a great time playing this game and an all right time in the city. I still pushing for top four this season. And let's get into what I'd like to do in this episode before we take on Torino in the Coppa Italia. Now, as you guys know, Zlatan was retiring at the end of the season because it said that on his status. Now it says contract is expiring in six months. I was able to get Zlatan not to retire at the end of the season. So let's go ahead and negotiate a new contract for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He wants Champions League football with Milan. So we're going to hope to give that to him for the next season. Let's go for just one more year. That's what they were looking for. Obviously going to be 40 years old next year. Let's disregard the release clause. And it's it's pretty hard to think of what I want to give Zlatan. So let's go for 70k per week and a signing bonus of 500k for the Swedish striker. We have all the money in the world to throw at him. So let's throw as much as we can at Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That's a reasonable offer. My client is happy with that. Zlatan signs the contract. He's here for maybe one more season who knows what's gonna happen with Zlatan a great veteran and he's obviously starting to decrease but his rating fluctuates he's been our best player well one of our best players this season with 16 goals in all competitions 13 in the Serie A and another thing I'd like to do is redeem the option to buy Brian Diaz let's approach to buy him because I'd like to keep him here for a couple more seasons and make him a part of Milan permanently he's currently on loan let's speak to Zidane his current value is 12.5 million so let's go ahead and offer I always like to go at least 3 million over because we're on strict I don't know exactly how much they're gonna accept but let's submit 15 0.5 million they want to sell on clause of two percent brian diaz we're gonna try to buy him offer him a contract he's gonna be on loan here till the end of the season and then we're gonna get him on a permanent transfer squad role he wants sporadic you know what if that's what makes him happy that's what i'll give him but he's definitely gonna be playing a lot more so maybe if he doesn't play here and there it's not going to affect him as much his current wage is eighty-six thousand, but we're paying that from real madrid Let's go 60k. I don't think he's worth 86,000 per week, but like I said, we always have the money. So let's give him a big signing bonus. Hopefully he's not too turned off about that. That is a reasonable offer. My client is happy with that. I think we gave Zlatan 70k per week, so don't want him making more than Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Diaz joining the team. He is available for training and selection. You can include him in your plans for next match. So I'm pretty sure we just bought him on a permanent basis. We don't need to wait till the end of the season. We're going to put him back on a balanced development plan because I've been training him as a right midfielder and that's only been upping his passing stats. I want his speed to go up, his shooting to go up, passing, dribbling. He has five assists this season. Let's put him on balance till he finds his feet and he's still good playing on the right mid spot. He's not decreasing by that many stats so that's pretty good for Brian Diaz. I'm going to keep him as balanced. Hopefully he's going to be growing. Here's a Swedish wonder kid Lofgren that we're going to be debuting in this episode and he can't go out there looking like a generic player he needs to have some nice boots on him i always seem to like puma boots for some reason or nike these ones are nice the nike mercurial super fly i'm gonna give you guys options to actually customize some of the players uh once we start getting a lot more players in the academy and promoted into the side he currently has the number 45 but maybe i'm gonna be giving some guys if they join as members maybe through mods i'll be able to give you guys more control in this series to editing players maybe changing the names of the players but that's gonna happen down the line we're just at the beginning stages of getting mods into the game but brian diaz wants to say that i'm really happy things have been sorted out between the clubs you know i've been happy playing here we've worked hard to make this happen thank you brian diaz for wanting to join milan and now let's get into the first match of the episode coppa italia match round of 16 against torino i think this lineup could get it done we always do have the players on the bench if ever we need them leal is going to be the starting striker but i'd like to bring on lofgren and maybe even colombo as well as maldini on the bench we're also 
going to be bringing on Kalulu for Rebic. I don't think I'm going to be using him. Auge and Brahim on the right. Tonali Benacer in the middle. Gabia and Tomiyasu. Donnarumma could have went for De Rosa, but let's keep Donnarumma there. He always bails us out, and he's the captain for this match. It's the Coppa Italia. I'd like to go far in this, but I also want to rotate a lot of the players and give some of the players who don't have that much game time, game time in this. Torino, don't know where they sit in the Serie A, but... I, I think we could get the job done. I really, really do think we can get the job done. Obviously, they have Belotti. They have Zaza. We lost to them last time in the Serie A. But things have changed since the beginning of the season. Yeah, I saw that. Buongiorno. Who is this guy? That's a fantastic name. Let me stop worrying about his name. He's offside. Where did this guy come from? Buongiorno. That's a good ball in. Donnarumma. Fantastic save. Do you expect anything else from Gigio Donnarumma and Gross with an opportunity to make Torino take the lead? But Donnarumma just stands tall, makes himself big. Getting a challenge, Diogo Dalot. That was fantastic to just put him off there. A minute of additional time. Tonali can send forward Rafael Leal. Beautiful ball to Rafael Leal. Is he going to finish that one? He does. It took us all half. Sandro Tonali with a picture-perfect ball to Rafael Leao. Scores another one. It's 1-0. Tadza skips past Dalot. Tomiyasu is there. Dalot now breaking forward. Can he send through Rafael Leao? Can he be in for number two? Just as simple as that. Great ball by Diego Dalot. Gets himself an assist on his first match. That is incredible. The yeah, Torino just looking a little bit tired. I saw at the beginning of the match, they had a bunch of tired players. Leal scores himself a brace. I don't know if we're going to keep him on for maybe a hat trick if he can, but I'd love to bring on Lofgren and maybe Ostrom. Try and get these young players on this match. Okay. Gets forward. Lovely ball. Lovely feet by Auge. Somebody give him an option. Finds Hakan. Hakan Chalanoglu. Salvatore Sirigu absolutely sleeping there. It's 3-0. Chalanoglu. Looks like this match is in the bag. Let's take off Leal. Let's bring on... I'd love to bring on Colombo, but he's got some time to shine in the near future. Let's bring on Lofgren because this guy has potential to be special. His status does say, so that means he can get over 90 and I don't want to waste that Dalot let's keep him on try to get that sharpness up Leao gonna take him off I know he's on a hat trick also I'm thinking once we get the mods fully into this series I'm gonna try to do like I wanted to do sometimes in my academy career modes where if a player's young like maybe 16 17 I know that players well people in real life grow throughout the year so maybe till 21 we can flip a coin every season if it lands on whatever i choose they'll increase in height because i don't know i think it'll just make it that much more realistic tonali sticks in a foot lofgren going to play auge wait for the run of olaf lofgren if we can find them try to take it around plays it wide to diogo dalot can he give it in to Lofgren? That gets the touch and he gets the goal. First senior appearance. First senior goal for Olaf Lofgren. Maybe Zlatan had something to do with this guy coming up from the academy. Are we looking at a future potential superstar? Dalot has got himself two assists in this match. Great ball. And I think that's his weak foot scoring the goal. Olaf Lofgren scoring. 4-0. Belotti, I think, has just come on. They did the same thing as us where they didn't play all their first-team players. And they suffered here. Because Torino gave us such a good match last time. Kalulu out-jumped by Simone Zadza. It's just a consolation goal. Verdi. Lukic. Tomiasu. Good block. Tomiasu once again. Good block. Just ping-pong. Every block I made... Right back to their feet. Torino showing something, but I don't want, I don't know why Verdi's celebrating that much. It's 4-2. Blow the full-time whistle. Great result. Heading into the next round of the Coppa Italia. Lofgren scoring in his debut. 
Like I said, are we looking at a potential superstar for the future for two victory? Okay, so now City B is not in the career mode, but Monza is in the round of 16 and they won against Kaede. So maybe teams that are in the rest of the world that are from City B can actually participate in the Coppa Italia. I'm not able to look at round one for some reason, but I only see Monza there. So at least we can see Monza. Got ourselves a loan offer for Stefano De Rosa, a, just a two-year loan. And I think I'm going to be accepting this. I don't think he's, well, not that he's not ever going to get time to play at the club, but just obviously we have Gigio Donnarumma. So let's accept the offer. We do have Gigio's brother in case we ever need. I've gone ahead and added Daniel Maldini and Lorenzo Colombo to the loan list because who knows if they're going to be getting that much game time. Um, I played them in the Coppa Italia match while well, Daniel Maldini and I think a loan would do them some good and we can always see if they're doing well on loan because that's something that you get reports about. Inter currently on 39 points with 20 games. Next match is Hellas Verona in 19th place. I think I'm gonna go with the sim and then if ever I need to intervene which I usually end up doing yeah, I think that's what we're going to do for this match. Looking to get a lot of points in this episode. Last time, Elos Verona gave us a game. <laughs> and I think we lost last time against them at the San Siro. And uh, yeah, that's not something that I want to repeat. Zlatan up top, Leao on the left. You know how good Leao has been in form. It looks like their center backs are a little bit tired. Hopefully, we can use that to our advantage. And who knows, maybe bring on Lofgren if we need him. Hopefully, we can walk out of here with the three points and easily walk out of here with the three points. Back into Zlatan. Hakan's in the box. Hakan is going to continue that massive run of form he's in. That's another goal for him. Here's Zlatan. Zlatan to Hakan. <laughs> Hakan Chalanoglu with another goal. See, this is what I was saying. We don't always have to play every single game. We could jump in midway through, try to secure ourselves the victory, maybe get some goals, and just... And that's why I love this interactive sim. Keep going, Leao. No, that's Teo. Okay, Teo's going. I don't know where Leao is. He seems like he's in the middle. Teo Hernandez trying to drop it back for Hakan. Zlatan turns and shoots. Pandor with the save. No, 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 no. The I can never get the ball clear. No matter how much I spam the button to clear, it just, like, I, just, I can't. It's always glued to their foot. Watch the ball through, because I know it's about to come. Kier going in for the challenge. How are these guys so good on the ball? Hellas Verona, why they always give me so much problems? 2-1. Oh, seriously? I came on just to see out this match, and you're stressing me like this. Gigio. Fire this one to Ibrahimovic. Don't know how Hellas Verona is this good defensively, <laughs> but you'll never know. Why did the referee not blow the whistle? He finally does. 2-1 victory. Didn't need to be like this, but either way, it's three points. Need to take off this hoodie because I'm dying of heat right now. Jesus, what is my hair? Goalkeeper Stefano De Rosa has moved out on loan to Nîmes Olympique. I think in either Ligue 2 or Ligue 1. Hopefully, wherever he goes, he gets the playing time he needs. Daniel Maldini now receiving a loan offer because I want him to get playing time. Short-term loan. So this is actually going to be great till the end of the season and he's going to be going and play for KV Kordjik. No idea where they're from. Hopefully we'll get some good reports back that he's doing well. Let's accept it. What are you worried about Romagnoli? Seems like you're not really interested in bringing in players to improve the team. I'm wondering what's happening to our ambitions as a club. Romagnoli, why don't you do your job and defend? Let me do my job and sign players. If I think we need players, maybe I should be bringing them in. But I don't know where we would need coverage on the pitch. Because it seems like we're doing pretty well. Romagnoli, Milan Bologna, San Siro. We need to pick up a victory because Romagnoli apparently is concerned. It sucks to see maybe Rebic continuing to get dropped. But Leao, man... He's playing so well. Even Aug, they always come on. Brian on the right. Kier, Romagnoli at the back. Dalot starting this match. Hernandez on the left. And Zlatan up top. Looking like a cold night here at San Siro. Donnarumma. Romagnoli the captain. Maybe his concerns are actually legitimate. Maybe we do need something. Maybe we need something big. But I don't know if you guys know, and most of you do know, 
Like, I don't really like signing the biggest players. I signed the right ones in the first season. I don't go crazy with the transfers. Keep it as realistic as possible. We're just going to have to deal with this. And hopefully, Romagnoli isn't right. Zlatan, can he turn? Maybe find a shot. It's Diego, Diogo Dalot. I keep saying Diego. Dalot now. Dalot finds absolutely nobody. What are you doing? Bologna putting a lot of pressure right now on us. Can't seem to find an opening after I said the match was a little bit open from the beginning. Hakan had Zlatan, but decides to go to him now. Finds Leao, Rafael Leao, another goal. <laughs> Continues to score Rafael Leao. 1-0. That's 8 for Rafael Leao. Since moving to left mid, he's getting a lot more playing time. He's getting a lot more development at the club. Continue like that. Take him out of the play. Don't make him make us. No, that's a terrible pass. As Tonali now recovers. Zlatan is going. He's going to take it around the defender. That is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. No doubt in my mind that he was going to finish that. And Zlatan scoring. And the rivalry between him and Dybala continues. He does the Dybala celebration. 2 <laughs> 0. End of the first half. 2 0, guys. Love to see it. Leao and Zlatan scoring. Maybe we're going to make some changes soon because we do have Atalanta in the next round. And that is going to be a tough one. Good touch by Rafael Leao. Using a bit of dribbling. Rafael Leao. Just blocked. Comes back to Akan. To Zlatan now. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. A save by the goalkeeper. Maybe trying to push that one a bit too much with Zlatan. Maybe could have turned and did something else. But it doesn't matter. Comes right back out to us. Zlatan now. Finds Rafael Leao is going to let it go through. Rafael Leao is De Silvestri now. Slatan, Kessi, Leao, Hakan goes for the shot. Trying to catch Skorupski off guard. Nice, Tonali. Just does enough there to get him off of that one. Kessi turns, finds Teo who's going to keep it in. People are running out of stamina right now, though. And I don't like to see that as Leao finds Lovgren. Lovgren. Teo. Teo to Leao. Leao in the box. Can he give it to Olaf Lovgren? That's another goal for this guy. Just always seems to be in the right position at the right time. Two games, two goals. Started out as an attacking midfielder. I knew he was a striker. He had a few options, could have cut inside, but decided to give it to Lofgren, who scores at the near post. Teo to Lofgren, can he return the favor to Leao? He might actually do that. Rafael Leao can't turn, take himself a shot. Nice Kessie, Hakan, Hakan looking to turn, get himself something as Lofgren turns the defender. This guy, I, I know it's early on in his career, but just burns the defender. Hakan the assist. Everybody's going crazy for this kid right now in the club. Hakan had a few options. Look at the dribbling. Just takes out the defender completely. And what a finish. Two games, three goals. That's two in his debut in Serie A. Now looks for Leao. Lofgren. Oh, maybe could have been in for a hat-trick, but he scores a brace. 4-0 against Bologna, continuing that onslaught to try and finish top four. That's a big confidence booster going in to the quarterfinals against Atalanta. Final scouting report from Italy and Wales and Albania. What do we've got from Italy? Castelli looking like the better of, you know, not the greatest players in the academy. Let's just sign him up because I'd like a little bit more Italian players from the academy coming from the academy. Albania really hasn't produced us that much, but it looks like either Gergi Vulai, I think that's how you pronounce it, looks like the best player from this final report. Let's go ahead and reject everybody else. Now, we do have the cheat engine. That's how I was able to stop Zlatan from retiring. Let me know where else we can scout. I know there's some new countries we can scout uh, in the base game, but 
with the cheat engine we're able to scout any country that we want so let me know where we can scout great news here daniel maldini has agreed to a short loan i think that's gonna be for the rest of the season gonna be great for him coppa italia quarterfinals coming up against atalanta you know what i wanted to start lay out striker for today ibra is going to move to the bench for this match let's go with rebic at striker and let's go with auge on the left we can afford to maybe make a few changes here let's go with benacer and tonali we do have lofgren on the bench i don't know i was thinking of maybe starting him from the beginning let's go with colombo as well instead of salamakers and see if maybe colombo can come on kalulu as well is going to you know what keep him on the reserves this is the lineup atalanta we're looking to progress through they're a little bit tired we have a few players on the tired side but no doubt in my mind that we can beat atalanta once again we beat them 5-1 last time atalanta beat fiorentina 3-1 in the last round we meet the winner of inter lecce player to watch duvan zapata five goals in the last three matches maybe the player to watch would have been lovgren but he's not starting rebic still has his spot at the club everybody's been performing well we've been rotating well everybody's doing so well can we beat atalanta i know they're gonna be tougher than last time but we still did beat them 5-1 that's a good ball that is duvan zapata starting off with a bang overhead kick nothing donnarumma could do about that one that's why they said we had to watch out for him atalanta Starting off bright here. <clears throat> that's that's a good ball in. Yeah. Oh, Atalanta. They have a grudge from last match. 2-0. We always seem to come from behind, but man, what I'm seeing right now, this is a completely different side than last time. That's a block by Romagnoli. And a vital one. As Calabria now tries to get forward. Brahim Diaz going to look to go back to Romagnoli. Zapata, how is there no foul on the goddamn play there? Tuvan Zapata looked like number three. Should have been a foul called somewhere. It apparently leads to a corner. Did Donnarumma get a touch? I don't know. That is terrible by Atalanta. Let's go. That's Oge making a run forward. I can see him. Great ball. Oge is in behind the defense. Can he get us back? One. Jens Peter Oge stepping up in this match right now great counter it's 2-1 didn't think he had enough speed but he burns past the defender and smashes it across the goalkeeper Benacer looking like Zlatan over there okay finds Ante Rebic go Rebic this is your time to shine Ante Rebic gets his own rebound yes I'm taking those any day of the week because the amount of times the AI scores goals like that. Ante Rebic, I played you and he rewards me with a goal. Great goal, 2-2. They've been controlling the ball for the last 20 minutes. After we scored our second goal, we haven't been able to get them off. Only one minute of added time. I think that's that's perfectly fine. Kier, don't get caught here, guys. And Teo making a great block. Oh, it touches. 2-2 heading into the second half. Ilicic. Good dribbling by him. Somehow manages to find Duvan Oh, man. Ilicic. 3-2 Atalanta. I knew they were going to be exactly like this. Another high-scoring game between us. This time it's 3-2. As he's able to take it into the box. Here's Hakan. Tonali. It actually goes to Rebic. Let's drop it. Back in for Hakan that's off the post ah oh, they're making a suggested substitution of Hakan for Lofgren maybe it'd be more worth it to bring on either Leao or Zlatan but I'm feeling Lofgren I'm feeling Lofgren right now I'm feeling it let's go Lofgren such good form just came out of the academy maybe this will be a mistake or maybe it can pay off nice okay kid how like what am i supposed to do there and see no referee man all the time that's not a penalty oh man oh man let's bring on leal for brian diaz 
If they score, we need two. If they miss, we need just the one. Donnar Donnarumma. The play is still going on. Why am I celebrating? Come on. Care now. Don't give away another penalty. Oh, Donnarumma. How many penalty saves is that? And how is Ilicic just free in the box, guys? We have to be careful because Tonali is already on a yellow card. And if we go into extra time and penalties, that's not going to be good. As Ibrahimovic, good dribbling by Zlatan. Putting in a big challenge. Leao. Tonali now. Sandro stays so strong there. Benacer finds Lovgren, the young striker. Can he be? Oh my god. Oh my god, Lofgren just swung his foot at it. That's another goal for him, but no time to celebrate the fact that this guy has this many goals. Just get the ball. That one's right through the defender and a beautiful left-footed finish. We have like three minutes plus additional time. All out attack. Let's go, guys. Sending this one into extra time. We can never seem to control the ball whenever, man. Get up, Muriel. You've been on the floor the entire game. 4-3 Atalanta. I'm getting yellow cards. Penalties for absolutely no reason. Maybe just the wrong lineup. Maybe just not the right players. But we're out of the Coppa Italia. I'm a little bit less frustrated now than I was. Because now we get to focus on trying to finish top four. And taking that spot from either Napoli, Juve. Well, definitely not Juve. But Atalanta and Lazio. Atalanta, they had a grudge against us. That 5-1 victory, it came back to haunt us. Next time out, we've got Juve once again. And we lost last time 4-1 to them, looking to bounce back from that. And I just want to show you the top goal scorers in the Serie A because I haven't showed you that just yet. Ibrahimovic right behind Ronaldo, who has 15 goals, but in 21 matches. Ibra, 18 matches, 14 goals. Then Akan with 9 on this list. Leal with 8 and that's all we do have for the top goal scorers. Assists. Ibrahimovic has the most assists in the league, along with Chalanoglu with eight. Leal with seven. Rebic has got himself five assists. Brahim and Auge have five assists each. And Kessi with four assists. Then clean sheets. We don't keep a lot of those, but it does not matter. Six for Gigio Donnarumma at the top. It's obviously Chesney. They're doing so well, Juve. A few days left in the transfer window. I don't think we're going to be signing anybody. You guys know how I like to do my first season in these Milan career modes. In all my career modes, keep the squad as much as possible. Sign the most realistic players. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, you can leave me a like down below. Maybe it sucks that we're out of the Coppa Italia, but on to bigger and better things. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.